Kevin McCarthy of California became Speaker of the House last week, last Friday. And in one of his first big policy changes, he is pledging to let Americans see, quote, all that happened at the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021. And that means finally releasing the roughly 14,000 hours of surveillance footage from that day that as of tonight remain hidden. Watch this. Yeah, I, I think the public should see what has happened on day. I've watched what Nancy Pelosi did where she politicized it. We're for the first time in the history as a speaker, not allowing the minority to appoint to a committee, to pick and choose. We watched the politicization of this. I think the American public should actually see all what happened instead of a report that's written for a political basis. And so uh, I think the answer. We're looking through that. I want to be very thoughtful about it. But yes, I'm engaged to do that. How gratifying is it to, you didn't want Kevin McCarthy to be speaker, you said it many times, he became speaker, and now he's doing something that you've been calling for. How gratifying is this? Uh, bravo, Speaker McCarthy. This was not an agreement that we had at the beginning of last week, but as the week progressed, Speaker McCarthy, to his great credit, understood this was important to a great many of us. And when we get this 14,000 hours out, we're going to be able to see the extent to which the federal agents and assets that were present that day may or may not have increased the level of criminal acuity. We're going to be able to see their coordination with one another. And we're also going to be able to see if there's exculpatory evidence that would show that people never intended to violate a law, even though they might have been technically out of compliance with whatever the standard was at that time based on the vice president's movements that they probably weren't aware of anyway. It is interesting, though, that at every time from the JFK files to 9-11 to now January 6th, it's our own government. It's our own Department of Justice that seems to stand in the way of transparency. The Speaker of the House is now fulfilling the commitment he made to us, and he deserves a great deal of credit for. I feel the same way, and I had, I had similar views about McCarthy uh, to the ones you had, but I'm so thankful for this. Really quickly, we want to be fair. Can, you serve in Congress. Can you think of any legitimate reason, real reason, tied to actual national security concerns to keep this footage secret? No, I mean, we already know from whistleblower interviews that there were federal agents and assets that were on the grounds that day. And I think what they really want to do is protect those people. They don't want the answers to the questions about coordination, exculpation, criminal acuity. And I think that is what they're trying to preserve. Usually when the Department of Justice is standing in the way of disclosure, it is because they are trying to protect against embarrassment, not protect our safety. <laughs> it's self-protection. Yeah, protecting the nation. Matt, Matt Gates, so nicely put.